So ever since we got our Bengal cat Kona and introduced it to our channel, you guys have absolutely loved her and it's taken off. Since then, we've also started an Instagram for her and it's started to grow pretty quickly as well, to the point now where we're getting brands reaching out to us to get product shots with Kona. So today we actually have a product that was sent to us from a brand. So we're gonna take some high-end professional photos and we're gonna teach you guys how to do the same. Now, this isn't the most glamorous of products, but that's a good thing because it's gonna be a little bit of a challenge to get some high quality photos. It's your favorite, a cardboard box. Kona, this is your automatic self-cleaning litter box, which is more of a gift for us than it is for you, let's be real. <laughs> The first thing we do for a shoot like this is look at a website, Pinterest, Instagram, wherever, and just try to get some ideas that will help us out. Now, you don't have to search cat litter box directly on this. Lots of times you're not gonna be able to find anything to reference, especially if it's a niche product like this. And we're not looking on these websites to rip off any other images. We're just looking for inspiration and ideas. The box has been on the floor for two seconds. I told you it's her favorite thing. <laughs> you scared me. <laughs> She's definitely curious. Yeah, you can pee in it. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, Lunar's getting everywhere though. So tip two is to stage everything. So with this being more of a product photography shot, there's no reason why you can't clean up your entire background, make sure your floors are clean, the walls are clean, so there's no marks anywhere, anything like that. Um, and you can really take your time to make sure that the shot is perfect. Kona's in there right now, and I wish I was taking photos. When we're out taking Kona on walks or adventures or anything like that, everything happens so quickly and is so run and gun, it's so spontaneous that we really don't get the time to set up any elaborate shots like this. So when you're in a studio setting, take as much time as you need and you also have to depend on your model, which is the cat. So we might take some photos today, we might take them throughout the week, and it might not all happen at one sitting, and that's okay. Tip number three is lighting. Now, lighting indoors is usually pretty tough. The outside light that's coming in is usually gonna be blue, and your indoor lights are tungsten, which are gonna be orange. So this is just our entryway here. We're not probably not gonna be taking any photos of the litter box down here, but I just wanna show you the two different types of lights. So up here you have tungsten lights, which are really orange, and then outside you have really blue lights. I can see my shirt right now on my face. So when you get to editing, if you're taking photos or filming with these two different types of lights on at the same time, it's really hard to get really accurate colors when it comes to editing and delivering your final product. When shooting indoors, we recommend turning off all the interior lights and just using the ambient light that's coming from the outside. For this shoot specifically, we decided to set up this key light, but we also have this Godox SL60 in the background just to act as a fill light if we need it. However, if you have enough window light, that's gonna be plenty. So I'm really hoping that this thing is gonna work. So far, it seems pretty cool. You hit the rake button, like so, and then this rake is gonna go all the way across, scoop up any cat turds, and the lid lifts right here, and then all of the waste goes into that little cubby thing, and then it closes back up. What I'm curious about is like, when it goes in there, is that gonna keep the smell down, or are you still gonna smell it? Because this is supposed to be a self-cleaning litter box, which it'll definitely clean the litter box, but if you can still smell it, is it really a clean litter box? So time will tell. Really hope it works though, because scooping litter after two cats is becoming a nightmare. Now, if we're gonna be delivering a set of photos to a client, usually I try to mix in a little bit of action shots and pulled shots. So because this is a litter box, an action shot of her using it probably isn't the best. But what I mean by action shot is like if she's digging around in it or standing in it or something like that. And then a pose shot would be something where she's sitting beside it looking all cute and pretty right beside the litter box. Another thing that you can do because it's for a brand is you can get detailed shots of the product itself even without Kona. So you can get maybe the unique crystals that are in it, the rake that's in it. Um, when the rake opens up and there's the little door that opens in there as well, that'd be something really unique that would really showcase the product well for the company. Now, obviously, if you're doing this for yourself, it might be a little bit different depending on what you're shooting. So if it was a cat harness, for example, you might wanna do one just with the cat harness by itself, just as like a flat lay. And then another one with your cat wearing the harness, maybe sitting down just before that you're about to go out for your walk. And then one with your cat actually walking with it as she's using it outside. Just to get three variations of the product so you're not delivering the same type of photo throughout your whole set. Here, we use treats to lure Kona into place. Kona does know a few tricks and can sit and stay for a short period of time. 
but it's extremely difficult with cats, so be patient. You might even have to come back for another round of photos later in the day, and that's okay. However, if you have a well-behaved dog and you're trying to take these same photos, you're probably gonna have a much easier time than us. So after following all these tips, I think these photos turned out amazing, and I think this is something that the brand is really gonna like, they're gonna think it's useful, and they're gonna be eager to pay for. I hope you guys found this helpful. If you guys like this video, please hit that like button. It actually helps us out. If you guys wanna see more videos like this, please hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.